right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashom, Yahweh Shai, Bashom Rakha Kodash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And as always, would like to give double honors to our apostles and elders of the great millstone which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And welcome to another in transit being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. This is the brother Yashamai coming back at you with a, uh, with another in transit and this video is going to be about keeping it spiritual now this video is based on a video that was uploaded by the brother Manak Zagba from South Carolina and Presuming to the book of Proverbs 25 verse 28 in the NLT He showed an excellent example of self-control When it comes to walking in this faith When it comes to serving Yahweh Vashem Yahweh Shai You got to learn some kind of self-control You know? And that self-control, you learn, you you learn self-control not, uh, not after the manner of the world, you learn self-control according to the scriptures. You know now, when, when that ninja with the do-rag got up in his face, Things could have went uh, left field real quick, but as you can see, the brother kept the spirit. The brother kept the spiritual. You know, he kept telling that ninja to get get the hell out of his face, and he wouldn't do it. He kept he kept getting up in his face. You know, agitating the brother. But what happened? The brother kept the spiritual, and then. What happens next? The Lord, the Lord sent his sword, the police. Okay. Isaiah 10 and 5. O Assyrian, the rod of my anger. And the staff in their hand is mine indignation. Okay. Also, the book of Psalms, the 17th chapter. You know, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. brother kept the spiritual he kept the spiritual and the Lord delivered that brother out of that situation by sending his sword which was the police which is the police and sure enough as soon as as soon as the as soon as the police showed up that nigga ran up the, the street because niggas always want to act all tough and, and, and provocative toward their own people. But when the police show up, you know, when the police show up, then they want to scurry and scatter. So, so that brother has some serious self-control, man. That brother has some serious self-control. There's, there's many other examples of, of other brothers that has self-control. Okay, look at the Dallas brothers, you know? People uh, threw drinks at them. Okay. 
I forgot what camp it was, but I remember this nigga woman, she showed up to the camp and literally, she literally spat on one of those brothers. You know? You know, uh, you know, me personally, when I was in the Great Waters camp, some Russell Simmons looking tear came up there and he basically had me and, and another brother arrested because we, we, we called him a, a heathen, you know? So me and him, me and that brother both got arrested. But guess what? Because we kept the spiritual, the Lord delivered us out, 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 of, uh, out of jail. So when it comes to, you know, people coming up to the camp, no, they're just making all kind of noise. Like, ah, la, 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 la. They might start blasting their music. You know, they might come up and try to debate with you because they disagree with certain things that you teach out of the scriptures. Or they might even try to get up in your face just to get you to be carnal. Always know that you got to keep it spiritual. Okay, because like it tells you in Romans, the eighth chapter, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity, hostility against Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, because it is not subject to the law of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, for it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. Trying to wait across the street here. I don't know what they're waiting on, but. Okay. So the question is, is how do you walk in the spirit? You walk in the spirit by walking after the knowledge, wisdom, and, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, which is Yahawashai. Yahawashai is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. So if you're walking after the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, you're walking after the spirit of Yahawashai. You're not walking after your own carnal lust or, or your own personal pride, you know? And that's how you think logically, you know, that's how you think logically. That's how you think on a spiritual level. When, when you get put into certain situations, you got to apply the scriptures. Just like when, 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 when the devil came up to tempt Yahawashai, you know, Yahawashai didn't turn around and hit, you know, hit, hit, hit the devil with a roundhouse kick and, and, and then a knee right to the nose. Nah, Yahawashai came back at him with, with scriptures. Okay, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, meaning not fleshly, not physical. You see? The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Okay, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but spiritual. Okay, when it comes to battling these demons, you battle them using the Holy Scriptures by applying the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, by applying Yahawashai, which is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. Because as it is written, right, lo, I come in the volume of the book, right? Yahawashai said he come in the volume of the book. It is written of him. So you got to walk after the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, which is Yahawashah. That's how you battle these demons. You battle them through the spirit and power of Yahawah Bashem Yahawashah. And if you fear the Lord, you're not going to be quick to, to, to transgress his word, right? Like it tells you in Proverbs, the first chapter, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. 
Yahweh Shai is wisdom. So fearing Yahweh is the beginning of, of understanding Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because you start to move accordingly, according to the Holy Scriptures and not according to, to what you believe is right. Because what you believe is right can, can, can lead you in jail. It can lead you to being locked up. It can lead you to, to, to committing crimes, stealing. What you think is right can lead to you committing murder, robbery, getting tattoos, committing adultery. So when you walk after the spirit of Yahawashai, you don't do those things because you know there is a punishment for it and the Lord will recompense you for all your actions. Because the scriptures speak about how everybody's work is going to be tried. Just a moment. The scriptures speak about how everybody's work is going to be tried by fire. Okay, uh, 2 Corinthians, the um, fifth chapter. We must all sit before the judgment seat of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. If that don't scare you, then you're not in the right spirit. You're supposed to be afraid of doing certain things in this truth. And being carnal is one of the things, definitely one of the things you're supposed to be afraid of because the Lord told you to be spiritual, okay? Uh, Matthew's the 10th chapter, what did Yahweh say? He said, be ye wise as serpents and harmless as doves. I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Yahweh named two of the most harmless animals on the planet, a sheep and a dove. So what is Yahweh saying? He's saying, don't get physical. Because like Yahweh said, you know, if, 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 uh, if, if his servants were of this kingdom, then would they fight? But Yahweh kingdom is not of this world. Okay? And believe it or not, when Yahweh said, be ye wise as serpents and harmless as doves, that, that's a commandment. That's a commandment from the Lord. Okay? That's a straight up commandment. When the Lord said, be ye wise as serpents and harmless as doves, that's a commandment. Okay, now in the book of Ecclesiasticus, okay, it, it, it says, they, they that love Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, will not transgress his laws. Now, we're not going to be saved on keeping the laws, statutes and commandments, but we keep the laws, statutes and commandments that we can keep to the best of our ability. And essentially, that's what the brother Benak Zagba from South Carolina did. He remained spiritual to the best of his ability. Okay? Because, A, hey, at the end of the day, we don't know who brothers are in the reincarnation. That dude, that dude's trying to act all tough because he got muscles and shit. But, hey, man, that, bro, that brother Menach to Zagba, he could, he could have been one of King David's most, most mightiest warriors. It's a light thing to the Lord to, to, to uh, turn a brother up. Because right now, you know, brothers, warrior spirits are asleep because we're not in the time of being hunters. Okay? We're not in the time of being hunters. We're in the time of being fishers. So brothers, warrior spirits are asleep. So we don't know who is who in the reincarnation. That brother could have been getting, getting up in, in, in a Ben and I's face, <laughs> you know? King David had many mighty warriors. No, that brother, that brother could have been any one of uh, the Lord's most mightiest warriors. Samson, <laughs> you know, 
But hey, but hey, when the time comes to be hunters, the Lord is gonna is gonna turn that that warrior spirit up in certain brothers, man. And he's gonna bless certain brothers with spiritual power. And then though those same brothers that that you know niggas though were frail, you know, couldn't do shit. Them same niggas is gonna get a visit, man. And it, it's not gonna be a, a visit to sit down with a suit on with a pen and, and uh you know have some kind of agreement talks. Nah man, it's gonna be ass whooping mode. You know, right now, the Lord's elect are fishers, but but they're going to go from fishers to hunters. So once the Lord turned turn the spirit up on certain brothers, man, it's going to be hunting season. And guess what? Niggas are going to be getting hunt, hunted down. OK, they're going to be getting getting hunted down because, hey, like like the apostles always say, man. In order to get to Esau, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get through you niggas first. Like it tells you in Proverbs the 11th chapter, though hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. You know. So hey, you know, the brother did the right, the brother Manak Zagba, he did the right thing by keeping it spiritual, man, you know. I mean, because when you get put into certain situations, certain scriptures should come into your mind. Like like an like for an example, when you get thrown into prison, you know, this is how you stay in the spirit of of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's just to say you got thrown in prison, right? Scriptures like um, when when um, when um, Peter was thrown into jail, the Lord sent an angel to get him out, you know, or uh, another one, another one case in point, um, like uh, when when somebody uh, somebody comes up to your camp throwing drinks at you, you know, all this other shit, right? They come up to your camp throwing throwing drinks at you. You know, they might, you might get spat on. Hey, well, think back to that time when, when, when those children called Elisha Baldy. Okay, was not Elisha offended by that? And, and what happened? He put curses on, on those children and the Lord sent several she bears to tear those children apart. You see that? When somebody get up in your face, try, trying to attempt you to, to uh, you know, get carnal. Certain scriptures should pop in your mind, like John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that Yahweh shall speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So be ye wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Okay, you see that? And this is how you walk in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is how you walk after the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, which is Yahweh Shai. You know, this is how you keep it spiritual. You got to learn how to walk in the ways uh, of, the, uh, of the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, which is Yahweh Shai. Okay, like Yahweh Shai said, he come in the volume of the book. It is written of him. So you don't just read the Scriptures. You apply it and you put it to good use. You see? So with that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.